Hey guys, welcome to another ITL. Um, a lot of things on my mind today, so uh, we're going to get right to it. I've got a pretty interesting ITL for you, and as always, what I'm sh the, the, the example I'm showing you is just but one way to use this technique. I'm going to show you how to create your own vocal doubles, and you're going to go, well, Dave, gosh, I got 800 million doublers. Why do I need to create a double? Ah, uh, I'm going to tell you why. Now, what does a double do? Like, like if you if you stack a a, a, a you've got your lead vocal and you do a, you record a double. What happens? What makes it a double? Well, a lot of things, but to my way of thinking, there's three that stick out. The the original is moving in time, and then the double sometimes gets ahead of the original, sometimes it gets behind the original. Now, when we just add a delay. To the dub, to, 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 if we're trying to create a double and we, and we duplicate the original track, we don't record anything. We just duplicate the original track. We delay it a few milliseconds. That, that creates kind of a double, but it's not ever getting ahead of the original. It's always behind. And now a second thing that tends to make a double a double is the change in pitch. So if, you, if a singer sings... Um, a part, and then he doubles that part, re-records it. So he's sharp, sharper than some notes, flatter than others. Now, when we just take the, our original one track, duplicate it, trying to create a double from one track, we have to duplicate the change in time. It can get ahead and behind. The pitch can get above and below. And then there's another factor that's a little more subtle. Well, there's a lot of factors, but the third factor we're going to explore today is timbre, T-I-M-B-E-R. B-R-E, excuse me, um, and that's, that's, that's the quality of a sound. Uh, so sometimes uh, an instrument or a singer, will, will the, the, the quality of the sound will change, so we're going to duplicate that. Let's get started. Here's this bottom one is my original track. Um, this is by a friend of mine in England, Yorg. This is a record I mixed for him. Great, great, great vocal. Times, but how many times to make you realize the love that we had? Sometimes, but how many? Okay, now what I've done is, is a copy of the original. Don't right now. Don't pay attention to these little squiggly lines. Now, if you look really closely, you'll see that this copy is 10 milliseconds ahead of the of the original. So you say, well, Dave, you said it has to move. Okay, well, it does have to move. So let's try this. Let's take a delay unit. Let's, uh, let's automate the amount of delay. And let's show that automation on the line here. This is my automation line. You notice how the delay is changing? As I do, as I click on the automation. Now, what I've done is in Pro Tools, there's a little. Um, I, I come down here and I select Random. Now, what Random does, if I draw, if I, if I draw on the delay time automation line, I'm exaggerated. This this is what it does. So I get some above, some below. If I do it just right, I get some above and some below. So I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm you, can, you can do this by hand, but it takes longer. I'm cheating because that's a function in Pro Tools. So now what we've got is this track is our original track. We made a copy here. We moved this copy to the left, 10 milliseconds, and now we're delaying it so it comes back into time, but in random increments. So with just that, this is what we get. But how many times to make you realize the love that we had? Okay, now, pitch. Let's try, let's, let's figure out pitch. Now, pitch, we can do it with just one track, but I'm gonna put, I'm gonna change the pitch on two tracks. Here's my pitch automation. Um, same thing, you see the pitch moving. 
various amounts. And now we're going to also put it on, on, the, on the second track. Just it, it makes it a little, little, a little more like, like a real recorded double. See how that's moving around. Okay, so now we've got. Let's let's take the let's take the delay off, and let's just listen to what the pitch is doing. Times, but how many times to make you realize the love that we had is signs. Okay, let's take them both off. Times, but how many times to make you realize the love. That Okay, with both of them on, and with the with our delay on. So everything's moving now. Well, almost everything. I got a surprise for you in a minute. Watch this number, this number, and this number. Times, but how many times to make you realize the love that we had is signs. But how many times to make you realize the love that we had is signs. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But there's still one little component missing, and that's the timbre. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in a channel strip. And what I've done is I've um, I've automated some some EQ. So on one track I've got on one track I've got this ten this this fourteen K right here. This one the green with the green. This this is being automated and this is being automated. So now let's watch. Signs, but how many times to make you realize? Okay, let's put these in. This is this is gonna be subtle. Signs, but how many times to make you realize the love that we had is signs? But how many times to make you realize the love that we had? That's kind of a little neat glitch right there. I'd, I'd keep that. That's pretty cool. Okay, now I'm 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 not really pan very wide. So let's, let's, we can really see the effect if we pan wide. Uh, this might be something you might do for a very subtle acoustic guitar part or something you might do for just enhancing uh, some backgrounds. Signs, but how many times to make you realize the love that we had is signs. Okay, remember now, you can, you can put it in mono and, and, and it'll give you like a double. It's great for rap, it's great for, for, for um, just like say maybe the, the artist recorded one vocal part for the whole song and you want the chorus to kind of have a little bit of lift to it and you don't have a big background stack. Duplicate it and then just do these doubling techniques just for the chorus. Um, and, and you, 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 you're 100 percent right. You can just put a fixed pitch and a fixed delay on the uh, on the duplicated track. But this sounds more real, sounds more natural, and it's fun to do. Come on, let's face it. Some of this stuff we do not because it's great. It's just fun to do. Um, anyway, hope you enjoy that one. And, and remember, this is just um, a technique. It, it's up to you to figure out better ways to do it. And as always, when you figure out something great, send it to me. I've had about four or five instances last year where you guys sent me something. It was just incredible. Uh, we'll do an ITL just one day for you guys, what you're sending. But anyway, back to you, Dave.